that balance point is. So, <laughs> shush, filming. <laughs> Welcome back to School Cast Six. We're in the playgrounds. We're in sunny England. It's absolutely Baltic. <laughs> it's supposed to be summertime. It's four degrees, according to my Instagram Insta stories. And today we've got a nice little how-to for you about an elbow lever, which is a nice progression on from um, some of the beginner calisthenics work we've been doing. It also makes um, it's a hand balancing exercise, but it's a little bit easier being horizontal in hand balancing than in a vertical position, which is the handstand, because you've got more weight distributed either side of that center point where you, where your hands are. So you, we create a seesaw effect, and that's what we're going to look at today. It's a really nice little progression, guys. You've got long-term objectives to get in some planche work and also for a back lever, starting to learn to lengthen your body out over that base of support and try and, try and create that full body tension in the horizontal position is a really nice little progression and it's going to fit into some longer-term training for you. Just on a side note about that, we often get people who go, I've just started calisthenics, have you got a planche uh, training program for me yet? <laughs> so I think that's a little bit further down the line, but this is going to help us to get there. Uh, before we get into it, if you haven't started, if you haven't yet, click subscribe so you're not going to miss out any of the more content coming from us. I can't point because I'm cold. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so step one is what we call a flat frog, where um, a little bit different from your normal frog stand, where, where we're here, we're gonna go and try and get into this flat position where we're more horizontal. So a couple of key points to start with is where the elbow, we're gonna rotate the um, hands so they're pointing backwards, your fingers are pointing backwards, so that when you bend your elbow, it's gonna be able to go either side of your belly button. And then Tim's just gonna rock forward with his uh, knees bent like that frog position. And then he's going to be resting in there, tips forward. He's trying to be way, way, way more flatter than we are in our frog stand. So we're going to have a look at the straddle elbow lever to start off with. This is a real simple exercise and just by spreading the legs out, we shorten the lever length a little bit. And that means it just makes it a little bit easier because we've got less mass to have to worry about. So as Dave goes into his, his um, horizontal frog position, the legs then go out to the side, the lever length is shorter, less to worry about and it makes it a little bit more simple to start to find that balance point. If you're ready to get the legs straight out and we can start to play around that full position, this little toe off position just helps us to start to really get an extra balance point on the ground and to see where that actual seesaw position needs to sit to get this nailed down. So. Dave goes into a full position, he's got his toes on the ground and as he starts to shift his weight forwards, he can just pull the one toe off. He can feel, use that one toe on the ground just to help him to feel that balanced position. This is actually a really nice little isometric strength exercise as well. Just by having the toe on the ground but practicing that lean forward is going to help to develop some of that extra strength in the shoulders and arms which you're going to need if you're going to support that full position. So that's it guys, there's a really nice little elbow lever there to play around with. Great to, to play around more with your hand balancing, just develop some skills and confidence in those movements. Yeah, it's going to help you with your trunk alignment. You don't need any equipment, so you can have a go there outside in the freezing cold or inside <laughs> your house in the walk. But until next week, make sure you uh, click subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. If you haven't got our free beginner's guide, where's that Tim? It's there. That's down there. And then uh, for some of our other how-tos, don't miss okay, those guys, there's loads of stuff out there. Check them out, and if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments below. Class dismissed. <laughs>